Leon. And he is uh, currently uh, been training since uh, late 2018. He also has a kickboxing record of one and one. And his opponent, Bryson Jensen. Uh, his opponent, Bryson Jensen, is a uh, blue belt at Henzo Gracie Morgantown in uh, Morgantown, West Virginia. He, uh, he started jiu-jitsu after finishing wrestling. A lot of, a lot of grapplers do that. I know uh, yourself included, Warren. Yeah, that's how I got into jiu-jitsu. I, uh, I, I got a great opportunity to help Hollis Gracie with his takedowns uh, in Brazil about 20 years ago. Uh, I was coming right off of a Lehigh wrestling career, uh, and I, I got to, it really was, was great that I got to continue grappling and being on the mats through jiu-jitsu. These guys are getting, it looks like this is gonna be a lot of wrestling here. They're on their feet, they're staying on their feet, they're hand fighting. Um, both of these guys uh, are seem pretty comfortable in a standing position. Yeah. Uh, we got and one, we got uh, that was more, I would say that was more of a guard pull than a takedown. Take down, yeah. um, I was talking to uh, Tim earlier today before weigh-ins, and he was saying that he his style uh, is uh, he prefers to wrestle up and come up from a guard to use his use his grappling uh, very similar to his coach Dante Leon. Yeah, I mean that wouldn't surprise me. He's one of the mas uh, Dante's one of the masters of that that style, and uh, you know I, I've learned a lot just from watching over the years him coming up from inside De La Riva and scramble positions that he creates off of that and. Uh, uh, it's just, um, it's a great style. I mean, like, you know, like one of our other uh, coaches from our team, John Danaher, always says, you know, just because you start on the bottom doesn't mean you have to stay there. And uh, you see a lot more wrestling up uh, from bottom positions these days. Now they're back on their feet, um, back to hand fighting, collar tying, uh, single leg shot now. By uh, Hunkley, switching off to the double leg. And he anything. gets right to a side control. So it's a really strong control position. Let's see if he can turn it into anything threatening. The ref's going to restart them back in the middle, uh, starting in side control. And he's kind of recreating the grips here. We try to do that as much as possible uh, on the restarts. I mean, uh, they're in, now they're uh, working from a side control position, and uh, you don't, at least I, it seems to me, you know, in a non kind of just observational, uh, you don't see a lot of a lot of nogi submissions from side control no, these days. No, no, you really don't. Um, and back to some wrestling, so. nice single leg, and they go out of bounds. Right back to the center, hand fighting, both looking for inside ties. Bryson something to club the head there. That was a nice uh, uh, attempt. He, he was an arm drag to kind of a slide by, and he really used it to get the guard. I mean, there's no penalty there for, for yeah. that uh, in this sub only. And he, you know, goes right to a guard position. He's working from close guard. Uh, looks like he, he has a great two-on-one control on that arm. He's probably trying to push that forward, possibly get a triangle, um, or maybe walk over the shoulder uh, on the other side. Bryson's pressuring again, and he, he pressured him. Oh, right in, uh, he, he, he had a straight arm lock, but he stepped over it. It looked, it looked tight at first, and then he, but he, he was able to move his legs. He wasn't able to control the lower body, and he was able to change the angle and step out of it. And now currently doing it. He's currently trying to... He, so uh, sh we got Sean Williams back. I'm going to uh, uh, cede this seat here to Sean yeah. again. So uh, Sean was coaching one of his athletes, and now he's back. So uh, I'll give the mic over to Sean. 
currently they are, looks like they're going to probably be reset here uh, right at the edge of the mat. And they, uh, they I think the ref's going to try and reset them in a 50-50 uh, type position right here like that. Tim has uh, control of the leg with uh, from inside to outside control. Bryson's trying to pressure in and still. And Tim gets uh, that control of the leg and is going for a straight ankle lock here, belly down. Yeah, it's a lot of pressure, but he's got to get yeah. to the hip there. But you've got to get something to block the hip. So that's yeah, starting to get a little bit better, but you see the legs are separated. There's no, there's no pressure on the hip. So, uh, yeah, uh, I was talking with Warren about this uh, pre uh, previously in the match. Uh, Tim Hunkley is out of Adamas Jiu-Jitsu under Dante Leone, and uh, Bryson Jensen in the black and orange is uh, from Henzo Gracie Morgantown in uh, Morgantown, West Virginia. Both are, uh, both are former wrestlers, and they are uh, definitely uh, working. They're uh, both trying to work top pressure game, although uh, right now Tim is using his butterfly hook to elevate again. Well, now that's getting tight on the leg. I don't know. We'll yeah. see if he can create some pressure here. It's obviously that sort of lateral knee bar. Now yeah. it's a straight knee bar, and he's got it under the armpit. Let's see. He needs to put his foot on the mat and bridge. He could make a tight figure four, but he missed it. But that, that was tight. That was very tight. tight. That, that but he, he really tight. didn't have any surface to bridge on when he, um, uh, when what, Bryson on the top, is that Bryson, correct? Yeah, and, and when he turned to face, he had no bridging mechanism for his hips. And so then. Yeah, Tim just lost his bridge there. Oh, it looks like he's going for some Williams guard. Well, kind of. Kind of, kind of. Not, not, <laughs> not, not quite. Not, not really. really. He most, mostly needs to just be a little bit of a better angle than yeah. that. That's just yeah, very kind square. of too squared on. Yeah, he needs to put the right leg around the knee. But you could just go clamp guard here. I mean, yep. he doesn't really need to be pulling his foot up. He should be pushing on on the shoulder, on, on the far shoulder of Bryson, and then bring his knee like that. Now he's got clamp guard. That's yep. legit. He could, he let it go. That was quite loose, but um, yeah. And that's the end of regulation. We're going to overtime rounds now. <laughs> All right. Tim starts on the back. With Bryson defending. A reminder that this, uh, for our overtime rounds, uh, each competitor will have one minute to attempt to submit their part or their opponent from the back, and we keep going even if the defending opponent is able to escape. So Bryson's doing a, a good job fighting those hands. Keeping as soon as he, uh, as soon as Tim shoots a hand through, Bryson gets a two on one. Almost cracked through. He's kind of cracked through there. He's got to yep. push the wrist down with the right hand. As Tim should be pushing that hand down with the right hand on that far side, just to help slip that get a shoulder grip. So now if Bryson gets any submission at all during this minute, he will win. Tim, ha Tim will have to defend for the entire minute.
Bryson has a Dars attempt after Tim, es Tim escapes the back control. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty tight. Yeah. Right now he's got to give, again, there's a curvature of his back he needs to get rid he of. He needs to straighten his, his back out. Now, mm -hmm. yeah. It's off now, yeah. And time expired. This is our first uh, sudden death, uh, sudden victory over time. They're going to start on the feet. Two minutes, first points wins. If there's no points scored in the two minutes, it'll be go to a referee's decision. Nice shot. That was beautiful. Well timed. Two. Does it? And he yeah, gets the, he's he's able to skip position and gets takedown. Yeah, that was a well timed power nice. double.